On August 13, 1961, more than 60 years ago, the construction of a concrete barrier commenced in Germany, physically separating West Berlin from its East Berlin and East German surroundings. This was called the Berlin Wall, a symbol of ideological division and suppression of human rights during the Cold War, and also the representation of the Iron Curtain that separated Western and Eastern Europe. The Berlin Wall stood until November 9, 1989 when crowds of East Germans crossed the wall to join the West Germans, and at the same time, with hammers and picks, they started tearing down the barrier, marking the demolition of the wall and the end of the Cold War shortly afterwards. So why was the Berlin Wall built? And why did its fall mark the end of the Cold War? Watch on to find out! The building of the Berlin Wall dates back to World War II fought between the Allied powers including the United States, Britain, France, and the Soviet Union, and the Axis powers of Nazi Germany, Japan, and Italy. At the end of the war in 1945, with the victory of the Allies, the Soviet Union and the United States emerged as two opposing superpowers, each wanting to exert its influence in post-war Europe. This deteriorated their wartime alliance and marked the beginning of what became known as the Cold War. And defeated Germany became a focus of Cold War politics. Per the Yalta and post dam peace conferences, Germany was divided into four allied occupation zones. East Germany was under the control of the Soviet Union, while the western part was split between the US, Great Britain, and France. Berlin was also divided into four similar zones. Entirely located in the Soviet zone, West Berlin became an island within communist East Germany and was like a bone in the Soviet throat, as leader Nikita Khrushchev called it. In 1948, in an attempt to drive the United States, Britain, and France out of Berlin, the Soviets instituted the Berlin Blockade, blocking the delivery of people, food, materials, and supplies from Western-occupied Germany into Western-occupied Berlin. In response, the United States and its allies resisted by supplying their sectors of the city from aircraft for more than a year in what became known as the Berlin Airlift. In 1949, the US, Great Britain, and France formed the Federal Republic of Germany, FDR, or West Germany, which was allied to Western democracies, while the German Democratic Republic, GDR, or East Germany was established in the East, allied to the Soviet Union. Socialist East Germany was ruled by a Soviet-style regime under the dictatorship of the Socialist Unity Party of Germany, similar to the dictatorship of the Soviet Communist Party in the USSR, leaving the residents with hunger, poverty, and repression. Meanwhile, West Germany, developing into a Western capitalist country, witnessed a growing economy and a higher material standard of living. In contrast between the booming West with the poorer East led to more and more Eastern Germans fleeing to West Germany through Berlin. In 1952, the inner German border between the two German states was officially closed. However, the border between West and East Berlin remained open, facilitating the massive emigration of East Germans to the West. By 1961, the number of refugees flowing from the East to the West totaled 3.5 million equivalent to approximately 20% of the entire East German population, including many young and highly skilled workers, leading to the brain drain in East Germany. To prevent further loss, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev gave the East German government permission to close the Berlin border for good. This was where the Berlin Wall came in. On the night of August 12th to the 13th, 1961, the erection of the Berlin Wall throughout the city of Berlin commenced. In just two weeks, a makeshift barbed wire was completed, stretching over 43 kilometers through Berlin and a further 112 kilometers through East Germany, entirely encircling West Berlin and dividing the two sides of the city. The construction continued over the next decade, developing into a more sophisticated wall strengthened with 106 kilometers of 3.6 meter high concrete barricade topped with a smooth pipe along with spike strips, guard dogs, 
landmines, and 302 watchtowers, and 20 bunkers, parallel to the wall was a barbed fence, setting off a 100-meter mined corridor of land known as the Death Strip. The concrete barrier was guarded closely by hundreds of armed East German guards, who were ordered to shoot anyone attempting to escape. This made it nearly impossible to travel or emigrate from the East to the West, except through one of the checkpoints where East German soldiers screened travelers before they were allowed to enter or leave. While West Berliners and West Germans could apply for a visa to get into East Berlin, East Berliners and East Germans were not permitted to cross the border to West Berlin or West Germany. From 1961 to its fall in 1989, more than 5,000 East Germans managed to escape to the West, while at least 171 people were killed in an attempt to do so. The Berlin Wall did stop the flow of migrants from East Germany to West Germany, thus stabilizing East Germany's economy. However, it tarnished its reputation, becoming a symbol of division in Germany and a global symbol of communist repression. With the erection of the Berlin Wall, West Berlin became an isolated enclave within the hostile communist land, raising the fear of a possible East German occupation across the country. Many families were separated, while East Berliners employed in the West lost their jobs. Although the Eastern German government eventually allowed family visits in the East and West, these rights were exercised with an arduous bureaucratic process and high fees. Many West Berliner demonstrations against the wall took place under the lead of West German mayor Willy Brandt, who criticized the United States for failing to respond. On June 26, 1963, U.S. President John F. Kennedy visited West Berlin, where he delivered the famous Ich bin ein Berliner to a crowd of more than 450,000 as a way to demonstrate the United States' support for the people of West Berlin and West Germany in general. By the end of the 1980s, the liberation of the other Eastern Bloc countries triggered mass demonstrations for free travel and demands for democracy in East Germany. On June 12, 1987, U.S. President Ronald Reagan arrived in West Berlin for the 750th anniversary of Berlin. In his famous speech in front of the Brandenburg Gate, he challenged his Soviet counterpart, Mikhail Gorbachev, to tear down the wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. A few years later, on November 9, 1989, East German spokesperson Gunter Schabowski announced that citizens of the GDR were free to cross the country's border, starting immediately. On that night, both East and West Berliners flocked to the wall and joined each other, celebrating with beer, champagne, and music. Some citizens began to demolish the barrier with hammers and picks. Over that weekend, more than East Berliners visited West Berlin to participate in the mass celebration of their freedom. The destruction of the Berlin Wall officially began on June 13, 1990, making the first step towards reunification. On October 3, 1990, 11 months after the fall of the Berlin Wall, Germany was officially reunified. The Soviet Union fell soon afterwards, and the Iron Curtain was pulled back. The fall of the Berlin Wall symbolically marked the end of the Cold War between the two sides of the world. The Berlin Wall remains till today as a reminder of the years of division and repression, but also of the yearning for freedom of the Germans, no matter what. Thanks for watching. If you find this information useful, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos of history.